Well, welcome back, Air Gunners. Well, today I have a compressor from GX Compressors, and it's the CS1. Now, this color, which they call black, it's kind of a carbon fiber color, and I think it's fairly new out into the market. And uh, again, if you're not a fan of the kind of red, orangey kind of color, then uh, maybe you'd be more attracted to this. But uh, as you know, GX Compressors has been around for a long time, and they are a good quality compressor great company uh, give a great warranty on most of their products so again we're going to take a look at this today uh, just to let you know uh, again it was uh, packaged very well i have also the gx cs2 and the cs4 the cs2 was packaged very well the cs4 i think could have been packaged a little bit better this one was packaged extremely well with uh probably one inch foam all the way around top bottom and sides so uh, when it's in the box it's completely protected the cs4 didn't quite have that all the way around the center portion and i wish they did around the sides in the center but let's take a look at this today we're going to go over the features of this and then we're going to get out our air rifle and we're going to pump it up and see how long it takes so to start with you get this bag after you pull your compressor out you'll notice a few things First, again, you have these 12 volt battery connectors because again, this does work off of both, both 12 volt battery and either 220 volt or 110 volt. This little switch up here in which you could change that. Mine came set on the one, excuse me, the 110, uh, but you're better off checking to make sure, obviously, before you start this booger up. Then also in the bag, we have the fill hose. Now the cool thing about this is it is a quick disconnect fill hose, which means you don't have to use this fill hose. You can get a longer fill hose and hook it right up, connects right to the side without any problems. It makes things a little bit more convenient if you have a little bit, I don't know, farther distance to fill up your gun. Um, and I think also the other fill hose is kind of a little bit more flexible sometimes. So that's a great option. Also you get the power cord to hook up to your home or any outlet um, and as well we have a little bag full of some filters uh, which there is a little filter in here o-rings and some other little goodies um, so again it's always nice to get a little package of other things and then of course we have the little instruction sheet and the specs on this. So let's just go over the specs a little bit on this because I know some people are probably wondering about that. Um, it does go up to 300 bar, 320 bar, somewhere in there. Again, it's I see where it says 320, I think, on one and then 300 bars on another. But I think 320 is probably where we're going to be at on this. Uh, again, that's pretty much a must these days with compressors. It has to be able to fill up to that because many of our air guns today are 4,500 PSI. So we need to be have we need to have that capability of filling up to that. Uh, the power uh, takes 250 watts. It says maximum current 25 amps, but that's maximum. Again, you could have this on a 15 amp breaker and it'll probably work just fine. 25 is just you know safety, I guess, or whatever. Um, the working volume, 78 dB, so it is a little bit loud. Uh, actually, it wasn't as quite as loud as I thought it would be, but it's a lot louder than the CS4, which is extremely quiet, and about as loud as the CS2. So, uh, again, it fits right in there. Motor speed, 2,700 revolutions a minute. The weight is 6.924 kilograms, and... Uh, Updraft velocity, 0.5 liter container. I think they say up to one liter 
bottles, what they recommend, no more than that. People do go more than that. I'm just telling you what they say. Um, it says it fills from 200 bar to 300 bar in about seven to eight minutes. That's in a half liter. Half liter is 500 cc tank. Uh, so you kind of get an idea of that. I think it fills a little bit faster than that, honestly, because I filled one up the other day. Eh, it may have been that, but it seemed quicker. And what else do we have here? I think that's about it. Um, just to go over some of the things that are on here, we have a temperature gauge right here on top. And it says should not exceed 75 degrees at Celsius. Um, I tend to run them no more than 65 or 70 just to be on the safe side. You don't want to get these things too hot. Uh, and of course, ambient temperature is going to depend on, on how quickly it gets up to that heat level. Um, if it's cooler out, obviously you could probably run it the whole time without shutting it off. If it's a really hot day and you have it in the sun, you're probably going to have to shut it off sooner. And 25 minutes, I think, is the, is the maximum run time they suggest on this. And then he wants you to shut it off for a while, let it cool down, and uh, then fire it back up. We do have the gauge right here that tells the pressure. Automatic shutoff, which is always nice. It did work when I checked it yesterday. Uh, on the front side, we have this little switch right here which is the DC 12 volt or AC, and then in the middle is off. When you first plug this in, you'll notice a little fan going. And there is a converter or inverter, whichever you want to call it, built into this. So you don't need to have that separate box on the side, uh, which some of the other compressors use. Both uh, my GX2 uses an exterior one and the CS4 also does. This one is built in. You'll hear the fan going on that. When you switch it to either 12 volt or AC, uh, 110, 115, you'll hear the main fan kick on. From there, again, once you have your air rifle hooked up, you can push the start button. That starts pumping. Over here, we have the bleed valve. Close the bleed valve. And again, make sure you have your automatic shutoff set properly. And then when it gets up to that pressure, it'll automatically shut off. Um, and then from there, open the bleed valve, disconnect your rifle or pistol, whichever you seem to have on here, and you're ready to shoot. Uh, on the side here is where we have the output port for the, for the air pressure that comes out, and also the, the, the blowout valve also on the side here. And you do get some replacements in that little package. All right, I think that's pretty much the the basics of it so to speak but what i want to do now is this i'm going to hook this up to uh, ac power today we're going to hook it up to an air rifle that's at 2000 psi and we're going to fill it from 2000 psi up to about 3200 psi somewhere around there that's kind of the standard it's an origin and uh, if you own an origin usually the shooting range uh, for consistent accuracy is between 2000 and 3200 psi so we're gonna we're gonna see how long it takes to fill it up and we're gonna time that so what I want you to do is give me a moment let me hook that up and then I'll be right back and uh, and we'll go from there and see how it does stay tuned okay well we have everything hooked up you could hear uh, the initial fan going um, again that's not the main fan that's just the initial fan we have the origin plugged in um, and we're getting ready to turn on the main pump. I do have a stopwatch right here and we're going to get that going as soon as we, soon as we get this started. I'm just going to shut off this uh, bleed valve first. Again, there's no pressure in the line, so it's no problem doing that. And so let's click this over to AC. You'll hear the other fan kick on, which is keeping everything cool inside of here. And we're going to start it up and start this. Again, you'll hear it, it's a, it's a little bit loud, 78 dB, but you know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not awful, it's just a little bit loud. Plenty of things louder than this. All right, so it's getting started here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to speed up this film to get to the end time and we'll see how long it takes. All right, 
So, uh, what had happened was I had the automatic shutoff set a little bit too soon. I think it was on 2800 PSI. So I had to shut it back, I had to turn it back on and let it fill up the rest of the way to 3200. Uh, that took one minute, 59 seconds. So two minutes to fill from 2000 PSI to 3200 PSI. Again, right now it's cooling off. Um, so we want to let it run a little bit, but I think it's, it hasn't run for that long. So I'm going to shut it off. All right. Disconnect the hose. Again, the other fan is still running. And that's it. Um, two minutes from 2000 to 3200. Again, I was kind of surprised yesterday when I was filling up a couple other air rifles, how quickly it would fill up, uh, which is a good thing, believe me. So, what do I think about it? I think it's great. <laughs> Again, it's, uh, it's, it's compact, all in one unit, fills off of your house current or your car or truck battery. Um, it, it fills up pretty quickly or very quickly on what I would call probably your typical PCP air rifle. Um, you know, again, maybe you can't fill three liter bottles or maybe you can if you want to try, it's up to you. Um, but just for filling up small tanks and PCPs, you can't ask for more than this. <coughs> again, I don't think you're gonna find anything that's, uh, that's quicker and better and has the quality that a GX compressor has out there in the market. So I think that's it for today. Again, um, I'm going to look forward to using this both out in the field and for quick fills here at home. But uh, as you know, as I always say, shoot lots, be safe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care now.